Alright you guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another video. My name's Jacob from Major Key Physiques. And look guys, I'm going to talk about financial goals. The last video we talked about social media goals. Something that we can all talk about, you know, we can all relate to. Great. I'm going to talk about something a little bit more personal now, and that's financial goals. I don't want to give you guys any specific numbers. I don't want to tell you guys how much I earn. You know, the, the, the one way I was actually going to do it, and this might be the next video, is my total income split into percentages. Basically telling you guys all of my income sources, but by percentage, not by number. So we might do that. If you do want to know, uh, let me know down in the comment section below. But regardless of that, today we're going to talk about financial goals for the rest of 2018. Today we're sitting at May the 7th. I don't know, this video might come out in a week or so, so bear with me, but yeah, May the 7th, and I've had some pretty, you know, pretty big financial goals for this year, and it's probably not what you think they are, to be honest. It's, um, it's clearing debt, alright, it's not even purchasing anything. I'm not saving for anything in particular, all I'm trying to do right now is clear bad debt. And bad debt, as opposed to good debt, is debt that is, is depreciating in value and costing you money. Much like a credit card, much like a car. If you're paying something off that is not going up in value, more so than what you're paying, um, it's, it doesn't make sense, the bad debt. So, with that being said, my bad debts, credit cards. Nothing can stop me, I'm all the way up. Credit cards. Mother fucking credit cards. And I know I'm speaking to some of you guys. I know I'm, I'm speaking to your soul right now when I'm talking about credit cards because they are soul destroying. And you do it to yourself. I mean, did you really need that computer? Did you really need that bed? Well, you probably did, but did you really? Did you really need that drone? Probably not. So the reality is, guys, is that yes, I've acquired two properties, but on the side, I've had, I don't even want to say this, to be honest. Should I say? You know, I won't tell you my balances, but the reality is, is that I've got four credit cards that I need to clear ASAP. I've had them for two or three years. Um, basically, they've just allowed me to continue living my lifestyle the way I want to live it um, and just worry about it later. So, but it's got to the point where, you know, apart from the credit cards, my big, big financial goal is to buy a third property. And there is, you know, I could, put it this way guys, put it this way. I could keep the credit card debt here, keep it maintained, not put too much money into it. And then I could start building up a deposit, a cash deposit in my account. 12 months time, the credit cards are still there. I've got 20, 30 grand in the bank. I can go and buy a property but I've still got the credit cards there. So let's say I go and buy the property, acquire it. Yes, the rent is paying the mortgage. I'm probably having to put in 50 or 100 bucks. Uh, it's probably gonna be negatively geared, so it might, might cost me 50 to 100 bucks per week. Um, but I've got a third property. You know what I mean? So effectively, I've got to work out what the opportunity cost is here. You know what I mean? I could spend six months, maybe even longer, let's say a year, paying off these credit cards and forget about the house. But the opportunity cost of me focusing on the credit cards and not doing the house is me not receiving you know, the, the profits that you would receive after acquiring a house, so, which aren't guaranteed, of course. Um, the only way it would make sense for me to keep the credit cards and get the house would be if the value of the house went up exponentially more than the interest of the credit cards is costing me. And that is not going to happen. It's not going to happen because the credit cards are at about 20% each uh, interest and it's time that I fucking get rid of them. So this video is about me getting real, about me getting accountable and me clearing these motherfucking credit cards. I'm saying no to the house. I'm saying no to the car. I'm saying no to anything except for major key physiques because I believe that the opportunity cost of me not doing anything to do with Major Key Physiques for the next year is gonna be far too high 
I need to focus on this. I need to get this shit out there. But I'm doing it on credit. So you can imagine, let's say, for, for example's sake, it's not this number. It could be below, it could be more, but let's say $10,000. If I put 5,000 of my next 10,000 into the cards and put 5,000 of it into Major Key Physiques, I've, put, I've brought the balance down, I've kept Major Key Physiques going, and we're good. If I was to earn 10,000, put it all into this, keep the credit cards there, uh, that would be stupid. If I was to earn 10,000, put it all on the cards and not do anything with Major Key Physiques, that would be stupid too. So I'm constantly forever thinking about opportunity cost. And that's just the way my brain works. And it's probably the way your brain should work. Never ever jump into something, you know, head first without thinking about it. Debt is not always the worst thing in the world. Taking out a credit card to get yourself through a certain stage of life. If I, put it this way guys, if I had no debt, if I had no credit cards, but I knew that I wanted to get this shit rolling, major key physiques, or any brand, any, any business, anything, I, I firmly believe that I would be very comfortable in taking out a loan, taking out either a personal loan or a credit card to build the business because the opportunity cost of not doing that is too huge. It's too big, man. The, the, the banks are there for the smart people. The banks are there with loans, with credit cards for the smart people. The people who can, you know, who can really analyze their financial situation, they realize, yes, this help would be appreciated. We can most probably pay it back on time, you know, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, that, I don't, I don't I, what I do want to say is that this is completely not financial advice. I am not a financial advisor, but I do believe in having good debt. I do believe in taking out credit cards at the right time for the right thing, but I also believe in paying them back, and that's what we've got to do. So overall, the way I see it, we're in May, we've got eight more months to, to kick some goals financially, and the first one is to build, to continue building major key physiques. I want to continue building my business, I'm going to continue using my credit cards to do that, but at the same time, I'm going to be putting more money onto the cards that I'm using. So overall, the balance is going to go down. So at the end of the year, I want to have, okay, this, actually, you know what? First thing I'm going to say is no credit cards. I want them gone. I don't want to owe any money to any credit card. If I take out a business loan, if I take out a personal loan after that, well, that's all well and good, but I want no credit cards. And the second thing, the second big, big, big financial goal, and this, this means more than anything. It really does. And that is to have www.majorkeyphysics.com as an operational e-commerce site. I want to have my 12-week transformation package on there. I want to have a range of apparel on there. I want to have everything on there. And by December 31st, 2018, I want to have received one sale. One sale from probably from one of you guys and I'll be happy and then that brings us on to 2019 and if you can't tell yet we got some big goals for 2019 but we need to get through this first I hope you guys have appreciated that little personal insight into what's going on I always advocate for being transparent on this channel there's certain things that I probably shouldn't have said in the past that I have and I want you guys to appreciate that because that's me. That's me, man. You know, it's weird. I, I, I definitely feel like I'm talking to a friend right now. I feel like I'm talking to a community that I'm involved with, you know, my group of mates. And I hope that that's what you feel like I am too. So anyways, I'm not going to go on. I'm not going to go on with that. All I want to say is big goals for 2019. But let's get rid of these fucking credit cards first. And let's hope that you see a whole lot more of this very soon. All right, that's it, guys. What am I going to do now? I'm not even sure, man. I've got a day off from work. And the reality is, is that none of this shit would ever happen if I didn't have my job. So everyone has a job, guys. I don't, I'm, not, I'm not a full-time YouTuber. That's a dream. But really, would I want to be a full-time YouTuber? I don't know. If I had a million dollars... If I had a million dollars, I wouldn't quit work. You can't quit work. But if I had 10 million or 100 million, I still wouldn't quit. I want to work. I want to keep my mind busy. I want to be always working towards something. And hopefully one day, I'll be the director and CEO of Major Key Physiques. 
a very successful fitness, gym, rugby, lifestyle brand that can also get you in the best shape of your life in 12 weeks. Peace.